Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Bring it in around that way. Now, in theory, I should just be able to drive straight across there. 400,000 litres of straw, which is going to put that up to 1.28 million litres. So we will take the bale, the straps off, and then we'll just come along here and we'll see how well this works. Right, well, that's not recognised. Maybe I've got to get in... Nah, it's because I've got to get in tighter. That's always the case with this one. With the bales, you do actually have to get in really quite tight with it. Um, so now we can just do this. Let's put those straps back on. We did get the back bales to go in. Bring this in over here. So we do have to get tight up against it like this in order for them to fall in. But they do go in. There, there, and there. So we now have 1,289,821 litres of straw right in there. It take 10 million altogether. So we're about 10% on it so far. Okay, I'm trying to reverse now in order to get out of there because that trailer has just gotten stuck. But it doesn't like the idea of me reversing either. No, that is absolutely wedged tight in there. Alright, let's try. <laughs> How have we gotten so badly stuck here? This is ridiculous. There we go. Right. Unwedged. We have to be very careful of that in future, I think. We've unwedged that one. The other straw that is left over, I'm not going to leave it there. So I need to press B to put this one to loading, to work position. No, I don't because I haven't finished doing the other stuff yet. Uh, this one's difficult. You got to press Y to put it into transport position uh, after we've unloaded. Then you press B to put it into loading position. This one, in theory, it should be the easy auto load. It just takes a minute to get used to all the controls of it. So let's come out round here, spin round. Like this. And we can go back through and we can load up the rest of these bales that we got lying on the ground here. Gather up this lot. Just gonna shove my way through. Like that. How close do we get to the bales? Oh, they will load a fair way off. It's that and that one right there. So we stop loading now. And then I'm going to bring this one over here. Like this. And I think we will unload them kind of this way. Like that. So then they'll unload off to the side. So right here, what I want to do now is press Y and then we can slide oh I see right I can bring them out like that I can move them as high as I want that's as far over that way as I can get and then I can lower them down kind of like that so I'll put them to there press Y again and then that will drop them press Y a third time so that it goes back into the transport position and then we can leave the bales there so we can go along and we can pick them up later in order to be able to put them in for the cows. If I jump off of here and I go and just have a look at the bale like this. Right there I can cut bale and I can turn that into just loose straw. Object too heavy, I can actually pick it up. It's not possible to pick that one up. I'd have to use the get the mod that gives me super strength and put that one in. Actually I don't know if that's a global one. Is that one of the global ones? Let's have a look. Uh, left control G for that one. Left control G in here. I've got settings. Activate cut bail. Activate more trees. Horse helper. Show object info. Activate extended placeable. This is the error list. Issues going on there. Uh, dynamic storages. I don't have any dynamic storages at the moment. I've got the cow feed mixer right in here. So... There's nothing much going on here. Open overview menu. That's for that one. 
I didn't actually realize there was an overview menu on it. But anyway, that's what we got in there. I don't have a strength option. That's a separate mod. So maybe I will go and get that one at some point. I'm not really sure. Let's go to you then. Probably the best way to do it then would be to use the truck and trailer and move some bales out and do it like that. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out for moving those around. We'll, we'll figure out a way of doing that that will be the easiest and most efficient way of making it all work. So next up, I'm going to take this one down to the big field. We've got to bale that one. We've got some planting going on. I'm also going to want to get that lorry going back down to the other field so that I can gather up the bales that I've baled down there. Bring them back. That's the first field is just now finished planting. This one... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and we're going to drive... We're going to ignore the uh, straw for a minute. And we'll drive all the way up to the other end of the field. And then we'll go and get the lorry. And we will gather up a line, uh, another load of bales and bring that back through. Then after I've got that load of bales, then we will get started on planting another field. Because we're going to have to just go around and tidy up the edges of planting the other field. So let's get you over here. And then we can start shifting a few more bales. I just want to park this one up here. I've got a bit just there to go and get first. Uh, right, I'll leave you there for a minute, and I want some bales. We've finished planting oats over in this field, although, well, almost finished planting oats, but there's a little tiny strip right down the edge of the field, which is something that happened last time as well, actually. It left a little tiny strip just there, so we might have to, like, overlap or something a little bit better when we start the field to make sure that we don't have this because quite frankly I don't like this it's this little tiny little bit left on the very edge I don't like this at all um, just in case I was about to go and do something different um, I have started a new recording session I think I was going to go and take the truck somewhere but um, when I've just flicked through the machinery as I'm starting up again uh, this one seemed to be the more obvious choice so I will just finish up this field here and if this was what I was planning to do, then just pretend that I haven't said that and that we've had a seamless transition from one round of recording to the other without anybody being any wiser. So, yes, you, you take your pick. We can have whichever one you like. And I will come back over here. So there's a bit there, and it looks like there's a tiny little bit there. I don't know if that was actually something or not. It might have been, actually. Look at that. And then we can come over here and finish this bit up. Uh, there is the new rake that we want to get. We want to start doing some work with that one. And, yeah, we'll start that pretty soon. I can't think of anything offhand that I particularly want to try. Um, any new mods or anything. I have had a couple of people say that, uh, in particular, Smock Farmer, I'm going to name you... You have stated that you feel that I used a lot more mods in FS17 than I do here in FS19. Partly that is because the um, you know the people like follow along and so on and so forth, and um, they can follow along more easily with. Uh, just me using some of the mods of mod hub that consoles can use but also yes that is because i don't look quite as much at the mods as i used to but there is reason for that um a lot of the mods like I, i'm quite fussy when it comes to mods and when i was doing the ever 17 stuff one thing that used to really, really grate and irritate me was poorly constructed mods. And I would still use them, but I didn't enjoy it. I'm focusing much more on what I want from the game instead of focusing so much on just trying to get screenshots of new and interesting things and getting people to click on the videos. Um, yeah, this might not be in everybody's interests, it might not be what everybody wants to see, but I am trying to focus a lot more now on 
what I want, what I want to see, and mods that don't work very well are something that I, I absolutely despise. It, it really, really irritates me. I like something that works properly, and I'd rather not have a mod than have one that has got a whole load of imperfections on it. It just it grates me the wrong way, and so, yes, I do spend less time searching through mods because... Not only that, but searching through lots and lots of mods is always something that generally just really irritates me because of how much rubbish you have to go through to find the decent ones. Uh, what am I actually looking for? I'm going over to here, and then I'm going to Euro like that, and then I'm going back. And we have to wait. Now, it probably, with the video, has already gone straight to the next screen, but I'm still looking at general settings at the moment. Still looking at general settings, but I... Note that I'm not the only... There we go. It's just now changed for me. Um, I'm not the only person that gets that. I'm really, really pleased to say. Uh, when I asked about that a little while ago, I had a lot of people respond and say, yes, we also get that. And I'm quite pleased about that. It does make me feel a whole lot better knowing that I'm not the only person that has that really, really annoying freeze frame on that screen and it's only that one it's only that one there i can go to this the game settings but if i go to that one there i'm not going to click on it because i don't want to go through it again so i'm very very careful about not clicking on that screen but it's, or, it's only that one if i click on that one everything freezes up for ages when i try to come off of that page and that really irritates me not as much as sifting through 25 mods that don't work properly in order to be able to find one that does that quite frankly, doesn't really do a great deal more than what the base game does anyway. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the principal reason that I don't show as many mods. And I, But I, I am trying to sort of go through some mods and get a few going just so that uh, we can break things up a little bit. Um, but yes, I have heard your complaints and I have taken it on board and I will try to get a few more mods coming into the game. Um, but I will just trickle them in. However, it's something that I'm going to be more aware of as we go into FS22, because it's just around the corner. It's not long now. We've got the weekly fact sheets coming up now from Giants. I'm sharing them on my Facebook page, and I uh, retweet them on Twitter every time as well. Excuse me. So... Oh, I love that noise. Um, yes, I am absolutely aware that um, we don't have very much time at all now until FS22. And I will endeavour to use more mods. We've got three maps. I didn't realise we were going to have three maps. I thought we were going to have two. But we have three maps, apparently, with two new maps. We've got... An American-based one, a US-based one, and we have a French map, by the sound of things. And most of you are probably already aware at this point that the time-lapse series will be moving to the French map. I have no idea what's going to be on it, but I'd like to do that for the purposes of the story. Going by the comments that I received this week, uh, there are a number of people who don't particularly like my whole background story thing that I've got going on and uh, feel that I should stop doing that and that I should just stick with the standard farming. The thing is, I did the standard farming for quite a long time. Just normal farming everyday life and... I started to get a lot of complaints about these videos are all the same. Everything is the same. You've done all of this. You. You know, you need to come up with something new and something fresh. So I did that, and now I'm getting complaints that I've come up with something new and something fresh, and I should go back to doing it like the good old days. So I'm starting to think that no matter what I do, I'm going to get complaints. Uh, so therefore, I'm going to ignore the complaints, and I'm just going to do whatever I feel like on the day that I make the video. And that's probably the best way to do this, I think. Um, let's be honest, because I'm never going to please all of the people all of the time, but I can upset all of the people all the time. That's a lot easier, so well, maybe we'll just go for that one instead. Um, 
so yes, the time lapse is moving to the French map. That's already been stated in the story, so that's kind of confirmed now. I will have a hardcore series and I will have a normal series. Now, I have considered the possibility of continuing the hardcore series on the Alps map. I mean, we could restart the hardcore series and do it differently, or we could just basically go in owning X amount of land and have a large chunk of change available to us and kind of do it like that. It's not going to be quite the same as literally carrying on with what we've been doing, but it's not going to be all bad either. Now, this one, I want to go like that, and then I want to go like that, and then I want to go... So you have to press Y three times prepares it for unloading, it unloads, and then it switches it back to normal mode. And so then I can put those on, and we can take it back to the cattle yard. So if I run it like that, and I do continue the hardcore series in the Alps map, because there's two new maps, the US one and the French one, and then they're re-releasing for FS22 the Alpine map. So... I could pretty much pick up where I left off with a hardcore series on the Alpine map, or I could do this style of gameplay where I don't abide by any rules, I pretty much do what I want, um, mess around, tweak the machinery, and all laws of physics and laws of the universe and everything, basically take a seat by the door because they're not coming in. And I could do that on the Alpine map, and then start a new hardcore series on the US-based map. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that at the moment. I am going to wait for feedback. I know I just said that I would, you know, just ignore comments because everybody complains no matter what I do. And instead focus on what I want to do. But I'm curious what you want me to do with regards to continuing a series like this where I basically just play around with stuff and do what I like and still going to do the farming. I'm just not necessarily going to farm by the known laws of physics. You know, we've got 20 bales here and uh, 20,000 litres apiece. So that would be 400,000 litres of straw that I've got on board this trailer right here. Is that right? 20 times 20,000? 10 times 20,000 would be 200. Yes, it is. 400,000 litres of straw. Even I can count. Look at that. Um, so I've got 400,000 litres of straw on board this trailer right here. I feel that's something to be proud of, to be honest. Right, so if I go... I need to actually line this one up. So I'm going to park the trailer right next to these other bales. I'm going to bring it along like this. I'm going to reverse up here. There, like that. We're going to back in here. Up to that point, because we can't move them forwards. We can only move them sideways. So we're going to go here, and then what we're going to do is we are going to unload bales. So I press Y, and this now puts them into the control position so I can now use the mouse to move them around. Unfortunately, I can't put them the other side. I thought that I might be able to put them the other side of those bales, but what I can do is I can stack them up like that. Now, if I put them down into the bales, it will just launch them skywards, but if I put them here like that... Let's zoom out the back a little bit and see what we got over here. They're still going to try to launch them skywards a little bit, so we need to just bring that up a bit like that. I say we try this. I say we give this a go. What do you reckon? Let's try that one out. <laughs> I did not expect that to land properly. I genuinely did not expect that to land properly. So I press Y a second time to unload. With this trailer, a wire third time, it then puts it back into normal transport mode. So off we go again. I'm really genuinely surprised that that worked. Pleased as well, because that's awesome. I'm, I really like that. Okay, so we carry back on again. 
I'm kind of thinking I like the idea of doing the Alpine one and continuing on with the Hardcore series on there. And then doing the new US map as my kind of play around map. Uh, but I am quite willing to swap them over. I'm quite happy to swap them over and have the Alpine one as a play around and the new US one as the Hardcore map. But I don't know. I, re I reckon that... Yeah, there'll be a sort of bit of continuity error in between the two series, but we could pretty much continue on where we've left off with the Hardcore series if I was to start on the... Uh, go back to the Alpine map with that one. So we... It's, de it's definitely a possibility. So I'm, I'm going to wait on that before I make any final decisions. I will wait and listen for your feedback and see what everybody thinks of that idea and which option we should take. Now, we want to come whizzing on down here. Like this. Oh, this is so good. I love that noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, you can park up there for a minute and let's go and have a look at what the barley price is right now. 1016 and if I remember correctly, it was about it was 1258. So, 125. Hang on a minute. Yeah, 125. We we got to yeah, um we we got to wait for a little bit. But anyway, uh yeah, um, my my ear was itching. You just hate that you're trying to ignore something like that, and it just won't let you ignore it. But yeah, my, my ear was itching, so I had to stop and ferociously scratch. And oh, it felt so good. You know when you see a dog have a really good... Oh, oh, no, the dog can't reach the spot that they need to scratch. Where was I? Real life interrupted. Uh, dog can't reach the spot that they really, really, really need to scratch. And you go along and you scratch the dog, and then their hind leg sort of starts to go... Yeah, that's pretty much what I did with my ear just now. It was underneath my headphones, and I took my headphone off, and I, I, I scratched my ear, and yeah, I, I can understand how the dogs feel now. I really can. That was that was glorious. It was absolutely glorious. I feel no shame about admitting to that. Absolutely no shame at all. Right, so we've got one field of straw that we want to bail up, and we're also going to want to go and do a little bit of rakering over in the grass fields but we're getting a big rake to go and do that i'm going to bail up the straw first we're going to do we're going to do the straw first we've already got some seed drills on uh, well some seed drills we've already got some land with the seed drill going on it i think it probably be in our best interest if we get two seed drills out uh still not had the feedback back yet on whether or not i should be using uh you know giving up on the extra layer of fertilizer i'm sticking with it at the moment there's a new thing actually in fs22 is the whole stone picking there's a stone picker and a stone picking I don't know if there's something we're going to have to do every time or if we go over the fields a bit like lime and every third or fourth harvest and we do stone picking, but the only reason I know about it is because the fact sheets that they've gone and sent out have stone pickers in there. And then there was another uh, fact sheet that was sent out that had all the new icons in it. And the icons bit was the one that really interested me because there's a lot of new icons. It seems to be there's sorghum. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, in a previous video, but um, there was sorghum and I think there was uh, olives and grapes. Uh, so we've got a few new crops that have sort of been pretty much confirmed now. And with all of these new crops, like there's more new crops than they've added previously. There's there's several new crops that they've now added into it. And then there was uh, there's there's quite a few new things that are confirmed. So it seems like the wait for the new farming simulator game may actually def, you know, be kind of a, a big worthwhile. A lot of people have been saying, you know, they don't want to be waiting all this time for another game. There wasn't all that much new stuff in FS19. 
um, up from F17. I thought there was a fair bit, and the unfortunately they weren't able to release all of the terrain modification tools right at the beginning, but they did eventually release them, and then they patched them again afterwards to correct the um, the biggest problems that they had with them. And the terrain modification tools are, in my opinion, absolutely indispensable. They are amazing. They're fantastic. I personally absolutely love them. So that was what they did in a year, uh, in the standard two-year gap. They've had an extra year working on this game to sort of bring everything in. And they did state that they were going to, they were taking longer because the game wasn't ready. And that, to me, was one of the best things that they could have ever said. Yep, we're not releasing it yet. We don't feel it's ready. Fantastic news. That is one of the best things I can personally, that I like to hear from any kind of developer. Yes, we're releasing it early. We're aware we've got bugs, but uh, you lot keep complaining that it's not released yet. I don't want to hear that. Ignore the complainers and keep going. As I was just bemoaning earlier on, um, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to get people whine and complain about it. So you may as well just, you know, do what you feel is right. And I really like it when the games ignore the people who are complaining about it not being released yet and hold off hang fire and you know sort of do a bit more and that's what they've done and from what i've seen so far i haven't sort of i still haven't gone and looked at any of the videos of gameplay or anything like that i've absolutely refused all the way around the field seriously all that distance we've traveled and that's where the bale drops right over the line of straw every time Every time it does that. Um, yeah, so we, we've got this new, absolutely fantastic looking game coming out. I think that this is going to be a really amazing step up from what we've had previously. Um, yes, I've heard plenty of people. I've already seen plenty of comments from people. This is just FS19 with mods. That's fine. You go back to playing FS13 because I've been saying the same thing since then. So you go back and play FS13 or, you know, continue trolling the posts with your this is FS17 with mods and then pre-order it the same as you've done with every other release of the game because we know you're only just doing this for attention and we'll ignore the trolling. I'm really, really hopeful about this new game. Um... I was excited about FS19, but there didn't seem to be a huge lot of extra stuff going into it compared to I, what I felt was in the jump from seven uh, from 15 up to 17. The 15 to 17 jump was a massive improvement in gameplay and all the way through. I really thought that was a beautiful, beautiful improvement. I hadn't really played FS13 enough to fully appreciate the jump up to FS15, although I did appreciate that jump, it did, it was good, it was definitely a positive improvement, um, but I really started playing and I'd started making videos in FS15 and the jump from 15 up to 17 was exquisite, there was absolutely a beautiful, beautiful improvement in the gameplay overall, um, uh, I was really impressed with that jump between those two versions. Um, the 17 to 19, it was good, but it didn't feel as good as the 15 to 17 jump. This time round, I'm getting that same kind of vibe that I got in the re with the release of Ever 17. Yeah, there, there seems to be a lot there. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. 
Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.